What's good out there guys, it's Real Easy here and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. Today's video is going to be all about the beast abilities and props, okay? I'm going to talk about the most effective way of using props online and everything needed to know about the beast abilities, okay? We're going to do both of them here in this video. Now, beast abilities unfortunately is only for people with the modded save that are doing the direct mode online glitch and uh, props online, Xbox, PS4 and everybody can, you know, take advantage of props. So just have that in mind before we get into this video. Uh, if you don't know how to do the glitch, I'm going to leave links to all that down in the description in the pinned comment because we're going to start here at this point, all right? The point where you get mission failed, all right? And you spawn online with the mission failed uh, in your garage or wherever. I spawn at the Maze Bank Tower. Now, what we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to be suspending app, okay? On Xbox, if you're doing the glitch, you need friends to actually vote kick you out of the session. I was recently told that's how Xbox has to do it. But uh, yeah, on PS4, just simply suspend app. And once you're at this point, you wanna go ahead and just hit exit mission, okay? Exit out of the mission. If you retry the mission, you won't be able to get beast abilities. Props you can get either way. I'm gonna decline that alert. And now I'm just gonna go into director mode. And this is the point right here where we can actually start doing some of the, some of the stuff in terms of props. So this is at the end of the glitch where you would be in director mode and you go over to your online character and you bring your online character into DM. Okay, this is right before we would actually go online to bring the menu on. Okay, it's at the end of the glitch, which I have linked down in the description and pinned comment. So, at this point, once we're in DM, you actually could enter in here as the beast. If you've unlocked the beast, uh, well, not if you've unlocked it, if you have the modded save, it's already unlocked, you can actually go into DM as the beast right here and then go online. That's one way of doing it. I'm actually going to use this point to actually show you guys props. Now, why would you want to build props before you even go into online? Now, the reason is props are very unstable when it comes to other players, especially you, once you're online. But in director mode, at this moment, before we get online, we could actually build great scenes by opening up the menu, going to scene creator, and once you have scene creator open, go ahead and select scene one or whichever one you want to do, and uh, go to the props, and you can start scrolling through all the props. And now, like I was saying, the best thing about creating these at this point in time is when they're not reacting with other players, they're actually perfectly stable. Everything is perfectly stable here and nothing's going to glitch out. So you can go ahead and create whatever cool contraptions or things that, you know, come to mind. Uh, this right here is the big ball of death. I like making this a lot of the time in sessions. It's something really interactive for uh, for a lot of players to actually have fun with. You want to definitely make some ramps if, you, uh, if you're going to build this. Make some ramps so they can actually get up in there. There. But uh, yeah, this is just an example of something that you would build in DM. Okay, so I'm just kind of fast forwarding through this whole process of, uh, of me building a few things here. And uh, once I was actually done with everything, the scene ended up looking pretty full. Now, I built this over here by Del Perro because I know a lot of players are going to come here. So I went ahead and I saved the scene, and I don't like going into DM with the scene, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and select scene two right here. Once I've selected scene two, obviously there's nothing on there, so it'll just go empty. You see, it's just completely normal now. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this part of scene creator in the menu, and uh, we're going to get all the way back to the normal part so that we can actually head online. So here we go. We're at the normal part of the menu. I'm going to hit pause, and I'm just simply going to go into an invite or a closed friend session, either one. And if you get that alert to go back to the trailer, decline it. You might have to spam it a little bit. Okay, so at this point, we're loading down. I use Maze Bank Tower. I feel like the spawn, you know, is really good there to hit the glitch. And I'm going to go and I'm just going to hit find new session now. Okay, and now I'll be able to go into a public session. I wouldn't recommend going straight into a public from DM because you could get stuck in the clouds. All right, so once I've spawned in a public session, as you can see right here, 21 people. This is where we're going to actually have some fun here with the props. So don't forget, once you go outside, remember, go to your settings. Make sure you have God mode on. You don't want to keep dying in this glitch. Uh, just have God mode on, ready to go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and teleport over by Del Perro, which is where I created that scene uh, that you guys just saw. 
So I'm gonna fast forward here through the black screen and we should spawn down. And uh, yeah, so this is the point in time where I would wanna load up that scene and it'll be nice and easy to load up, okay? Without any players kind of messing it up. And that's the reason why you want God mode, okay? Because you got players like that. So I'm gonna open up the DM menu and go straight to scene creator. He can shoot at me all he wants, that does not matter. And uh, once I'm in scene creator here, I'm gonna load up scene one since we're on scene two right there. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna load up scene one and you should see everything just pop up all right and there it is now you see this stuff that's really close obviously if you want to see the stuff that's a bit farther away it actually doesn't render in until you get close to it but uh the good thing about doing this is that these parts are solidified okay these parts are solidified since they weren't interacted with by players while they were being made so if you see right here i'm just going to call up a bike because uh, you don't have phone access when you don't complete the mission but uh, yeah, you can still call up your motorcycle menu and uh, yeah, you see everybody can actually interact with these props. Uh, they're completely solid. All right, then that's what you want. Now, when it comes to placing props in session, you see, you can do that. You can 100% place props in session, but if you want stuff that people can actually interact with, it'll make it a little bit more difficult. Okay, and you're gonna see what I mean here. So I'm just gonna load up scene one, which is what I already have there. And I'm gonna go to props and I'm just scrolling right at the moment. I'm just hitting right and I'm just going through the different props. I haven't placed a thing, but I know they glitched on. Now you see that? I'm gonna go ahead and just back out of the props. I'm gonna walk. And you're going to see everything that I just scrolled through has glitched onto the map and it's completely unrendered. You can walk right through it, jump through it, anything. OK, so I recommend if you're going to do that, do it somewhere safe without players. All right. In the vicinity. So at this point, we're going to move on to how to get the beast abilities online. So once you've come online with the DM menu, what you want to go ahead and do is open up the menu and go to return a casting trailer, hit X on it and hover over the alert. Now, once we're on this alert, you want to suspend app. You can do that by opening Spotify or by trimming a clip. I'm going to go ahead and do it by opening up Spotify. It'll suspend application. Here we go. I'm going to go back to the game and you should still be on the alert. Once you're on that alert, just go ahead and decline. Your menu will be glitched a little bit. Just press circle, then open up your menu once again, and you can actually go fully into the casting trailer. So just hit return to casting trailer and we're good to go. What that just did is put us in an SP state to go back to the trailer and uh, be able to do what we're gonna do here now. So. Once we're here, I'm going to press circle, go all the way up to animals, and then just all you should have to do is hit up once on the D-pad, and we should be hovered over the wild animal. Just go ahead and hit X and enter DM as the wild animal. So you should spawn online, or you should spawn in DM as the online uh, beast right here. And this is the one that's probably the best to have because it's got the fast run and the super jump. And this is really what you want. All right, this is really fun to run around in sessions and have these abilities. If you want to check out the other beast, the wild animal, the Sasquatch, just press L3 and R3 and it'll switch just like that. Now, this beast has the super strength. All right, this is the one where you can kick cars like crazy and uh, kick players really far as well, too. NPCs go flying. But anyways, you want to pick the one that you want the abilities to go online with. Now, I'm going to pick this beast. And once I'm on that beast, I'm just going to go ahead and go into an online session. Now, remember, once you're coming from this S SP state of DM, you always want to go straight into a close friend session or invite only to get into online as quick as possible. Then from there, you can go ahead and find new session. Now, as you can see, I spawned online as my online character, but I have fast run. This isn't fast forwarded whatsoever. What you're seeing is fast run here in the office and you'll see the super jump once I actually go outside. So I'm going to hit exit to roof. Uh, I like doing this when I spawn in at Maze Bank. It gives me time to actually set up my menu again. Remember that everything kind of deactivates once you jump sessions and go into interiors. So I'm going to set God mode back to normal and I'm going to go ahead and super jump. And as you can see, I can super jump and by landing here, I'll have, or you could tell that I have God mode on and the beast abilities. Okay, so I have the fast run and the super jump, which is what we wanted. This is probably your best bet when it comes to uh, having these abilities online. Now make sure you have God mode. I want to say it again. You don't want to be dying when you've been messing around with the beast abilities. Okay. Because it might not always end up possible that you can go back to the trailer and fix yourself to come back online. 
Now, you're going to have a problem when you bring the beast abilities online. Your interaction menu won't be set up right, your online one. So what you want to do is open up the DM menu and go ahead and head over to Franklin. Once you click on Franklin, you actually should get the double menu back. You'll turn into a default character. You'll be hovering over your online one in the actors, but as you can see right there, I have the double menu back and I have my online interaction menu. That's just a neat little trick that you guys should know when it comes to the first time you bring the, uh, the beast online. Uh, you won't have that online interaction menu in case you did want to get into like a vehicle or something so that's how you do it and uh at any time you can hit find new session and when you spawn in you'll be your normal online character with the beast abilities just make sure you always turn god mode back on so anyways, right here, I'm gonna show you how to actually get both abilities. So once you're online with one of the abilities, you just wanna go ahead and hit L3 and R3 to, to kind of scroll through both, all right? Once you scroll through both of the animals, you wanna to go to switch actors and you wanna go ahead and hover over the wild animal. Click on wild animal, and this is if you had the online beast first, all right? Once you've done that, you should be a default character. You basically have both the abilities now, but I want to pick one of these outfits on the short list just so I have something cool that I'm wearing while I have the abilities, okay? Because you can't actually put on your outfit while you're in this state right here. Uh, and uh, yeah, as you can see right here, um, I've picked one of the outfits on the short list. As you can see, I have super jump, which means I should have the fast run, and I'm gonna go ahead and kick, and you see I have the wild animal abilities as well. So you have both, all in one. All right, that's how you would do it, okay? And you can switch over to any other, you know, outfits you have on the short list or recently used, and you can wear any of those and have both abilities. But once you go back and you select online one or try to, you know, put on one of your online outfits, it will take away probably the wild animal abilities, all right? Which is the, you know, the crazy kick right there, the super strength. But uh, yeah, guys, super detailed video about these really fun things to do in DM. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Turn on post notifications. Please go follow me on Twitter just because and go follow me on Twitch to be notified for any future live streams. Uh, be, uh, be aware, not be aware, but keep in mind that I actually have some accounts that I've made up on PS4 that I plan on getting rid of. If you have any sort of interest in getting these accounts, just send me a message over on Twitter or Discord and I'll try to get back to you on that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, take it easy and have a good night. Peace.